Hi, this is Dustin at diesellaptops.com. This first video is going to be the first in a series of training videos designed specifically for diesel technicians. In this first video, we're going to go over some basic electrical symbols and terminology that you should all know. The electrical systems on today's trucks can be a bit overwhelming. If you looked at an engine from, say, the 70s or 80s, they have hardly any wiring on them. Newer trucks have more wiring than that just on the after treatment system alone. So learning these electrical systems is a huge part of being a technician. We have so many different types of electrical systems. You have to learn them to diagnose a truck. You have to learn them to be able to be more than just a parts change. And that's what we're going to go over in this series. The first one we're going to talk about is voltage. As a technician, you're going to see voltage all over the place from battery voltage, to sensor voltage, to voltage used to move actuators, you're going to use voltage all the time. A good way to explain voltage is to think of the circuit like a water hose or a pipe with water flowing through it. We have our water source here at the top, which will be like our voltage source or our battery. Now as the water flows through the pipe, the water puts pressure on the insides of the pipe. This pressure is similar to the voltage of an electrical circuit. The more we turn on the water, the higher the pressure is, which is like having a higher voltage through a circuit. So now imagine we have a water wheel on the end of our pipe, and it was designed to spin at, say, 100 RPM. If we were to turn down the water at the knob here, we have less pressure in the pipe, and less pressure pushing on the wheel, and it spins slower. This is similar to the electronics in your truck. Most electronics have to have a certain voltage going to it to even, even operate. You always make sure you check battery voltage, make sure your cables and ground connections are always intact so that you're getting the correct voltage to your ECMs. The second thing we're going to see a lot as technicians is amps or amperage. What is amperage? Imagine again the water pipe analogy. If the pressure that's put on the inside of the pipe is like our voltage, then the flow of water through our pipe would be like our amperage. Amperage in a circuit is a measurement of the flow of electrons through the circuit. So if we have a high flow of water through our pipe, that's equivalent to a high amperage circuit like an alternator or a starter circuit. If we have low flow through the pipe, that's equivalent to something, say, like your engine sensors, which are a low amperage circuit. Now that we know what voltage and amperage is, the last main thing that you're going to run across is going to be resistance. So what is resistance? Just like in the name, resistance is the resistance of the electrons flowing through the wire. So back to our water pipe here, the water wheel would be our resistance. If you make the wheel harder to spin, this is like having a higher resistance. Now if we take the wheel out completely, we have a low resistance, and this means the electrons are flowing easily. Kind of like when you're tightening up some battery cables and your wrench accidentally touches the positive and negative terminals, you know how you get that nice little spark? The reason this happens is because the wrench, like most metals, has very low resistance which allows a lot of amperage going through there. If you've got four truck batteries, you have a lot of amperage. So these are the three main symbols that you're gonna see the most. So this concludes our first training video. I hope you learned something. If not, we have some more advanced videos coming out soon. I hope you'll subscribe and see you soon.